Koh Tao is a paradise island in the Gulf of Thailand, around 75 kilometers southeast of Shampong in Suratani province. On a clear day, you can see both Kopanyang and Koh Samui south of the island. At its widest part, Koh Tao measures 3.4 kilometers and is 7.6 kilometers long. The coastline, which is predominantly steep, rocky shoreline, consists of 11 bays and 10 capes and is 28.6 kilometers long, with a surrounding coral reef spanning 8 kilometers. A large percentage of the island is mountainous, in varying degrees, with about 30% of flat land. The island is divided up into three villages, Mahad and Sari on the west coast and Shalok Pankau in the south. The eastern part of the island is steep with cliffs. In contrast, the west slopes down gradually to the sea with the flat areas where the villages are. Kotao's highest point is 374 meters above sea level and the island's mountains stretch from north to south. The island was formed through land subsidence of the surrounding area, which is now the sea floor, making the depth of the sea around Kotao and Konangyang about 30-40 meters. Kotao has a diurnal tide, meaning there is only one high and one low water each tidal day. When we go to Kotao, we get our accommodation within 15 minutes walking distance from Sari Beach, but away from the noise from restaurants, bars and traffic. There are so many resorts in Kotao in a wide range of price classes, and you'll certainly find one that matches your budget. The best way to get around in Kotao is renting a motorbike. It costs you around 200 baht per day.
Freedom Beach is a small, beautiful, peaceful beach on the southern part of Kotao. It's placed on the east side of Chalokban Kao Bay. It used to be free, but nowadays you have to pay 100 baht, and that includes park ticket for your motorbike, as well as access to the John Suen viewpoint. The beach also has a restaurant. Freedom Beach is a peaceful beach with few visitors per day. The beach is perfect for snorkeling, with coral reefs close to the shore, teeming with life. Here you can watch a variety of tropical fish in all sorts of color. Speed boats and long tail boats anchor not far from the beach in permanent buoys, letting the day tourists snorkel on the pinnacles and enjoy the abundant sea life. Diving is popular on Kotao and the surrounding isles, bays and capes. Many people come here to quest this hidden dive gem in the Gulf of Thailand. Some come here to learn diving, as Kotao has a lot of diving schools. Many have their first diving experience with an instructor here on Freedom Beach.
It's a very quiet and private beach with no obvious buildings apart from one wooden restaurant to the side. The beach itself has fine white sand and is fairly shaded with Pemphis acidula trees, so it's a great place to relax with your favorite book or to sunbath. It's a scenic place and the water is often crystal clear, so a wonderful spot for swimming and snorkeling. There is a shallow coral reef not far out and you can see the cliff Hin Ta To standing out on the Cape. Although it's a private beach owned by Freedom Beach Resort, they have opened it to the public. You have to pay a small entrance fee of 100 baht and that includes the ticket for your motorbike and entrance to the John Suen viewpoint. Up here on John Suen viewpoint you have a magnificent view over Chalok Ban Khao Bay and Tian Ok Bay and Shark Island. It's a small isle 800 meters south of Kotao, boasting excellent snorkeling, particularly around the northwest point where shallow water can be found. The island is steeper elsewhere, the water deeper, so it's ideal for diving. Take a boat to get here or rent a kayak from Ao Lök or Saidang Beach. It only takes about 15 minutes, but be aware of strong currents in the channel between the islands. Thank you.